so we have uh, a couple of the Bayo Trophius Trovase Ochre Chalumba spawning right now. You can see the females all pooched out there. She's got eggs in there. Let's see if we can actually catch them in the act right here. Oh, I think they did. So we're gonna zoom in and get some of that. It'll focus for us here. Doesn't want to focus. Apologize for the poor video quality. All right, I think we're focused on the spot. Now we just got to get them to come back. The male's trying to get her to come back. This is the uh, first spawn for me with these guys. I knew they were getting close. There she is. Here he comes. Oh, look at him shake. Oh, somebody's chasing him away. This is a community tank, so it's a little tricky sometimes, but I've had a lot of different species spawn in this tank. And obviously, they already laid a bunch of eggs before I got home. There he is back on the rock. Zoom, zoom out a little bit here and see if... I'll try to show you the whole tank a little bit. This is a 125 gallon tank. So we got lots of different Africans in here. There's a lot of uh, Metria Climo species in Sobo. Uh, we got a pair of lavender ice peacocks in here. There's some white top haras. Uh, a couple of random cichlids. So there's a yellow-tailed Asai, a white-tailed Asai. That uh, guy with the spots there, that's an Otopharynx tetrastigma. Uh, there's a couple of those in there. I think that uh, covers everybody who's in here. Now it's just a matter of seeing if we can get them back over there and get some more spawning video. The male's trying to keep the area clear and that uh, that Msobo doesn't really like that so he's a pretty dominant fish. I actually just pulled up holding female Msobo out of there this weekend. Well, there he's back see if the lady is nearby. I don't know where she went. I think she's on the other end of the tank right now, so he might have to get her back over there. Wish this was a little more exciting, but uh, sometimes it doesn't work the way you want it to. We got a little bit there though, so you get to see a little bit. There's one of the females. That's not the one right there. That's not the one that's holding. I think the one that has been spawning is back in the corner there. I think that's her there. I know the glass is kind of dirty. I apologize for that. It's usually not my top priority. I'm not always expecting to have to shoot some video, so yep, that's her. So you can see here they may be done spawning. I don't know. He may be trying to get another girl over there for all I know. There's uh, I think three females in here that are of breeding size. Um, if you notice they have sort of that OB pattern. The males are rarely have that. It's very rare you'll get a OB male, the marmalade cat they call them. Usually they look like this guy here. Pretty good. There he is. See if we can watch him try to entice a lady over there. But anyway, you got a little all oh, oh I was just gonna give up on them, but now it looks like they're back over the spawning site. So let's see if I can go the right way with the zoom here and see if we can maybe get something. They go back there too, I noticed a couple of times before I got the camera ready. And they'll try to spawn back there. But when they do it on this rock, it's right out in the open for us. Well, Adam Sobo male chased the female away again. So I think I'm going to stop now. This has been plenty long recording. You guys will have to watch a long time um, or give on up on it sooner. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, maybe we'll 